welcome. We are here to teach you how to sing harmony, which is no small task in my opinion. And I am so excited to be here with Julia Ziegler, who is our Singio community specialist. So she is in our Singio community helping and supporting and teaching, and she's marvelous at singing harmony. Aww. You really are. <laughs> um, and so I'm so excited to have her here because this means that we can teach you how to sing harmonies. Because I listen to music and I'm like, oh my gosh, that was effortless. I hear these beautiful harmonies. I start singing and she can just pick out a harmony. And for me, it's been a little bit more of a struggle to learn how to do that naturally. And so we're gonna be breaking down the process so that myself and you can sing beautiful harmonies. <laughs> Let's dive in. So what is a harmony? A harmony is basically two or more notes sung together at the same time in a way that's pleasing to our ear. So if I were like, ah, oh, that is so lovely. <laughs> so that's a harmony in a nutshell, but how do you get there? So harmonies are created using something called intervals. Okay. And intervals are basically the, the distance between two notes. So in order to create a harmony, you have to find two notes that sound good together. He's your like, can okay. do a third maybe? Uh, uh, we love that. Beautiful, beautiful. So uh, if you end up on a note that sounds not so good together, like. Uh, uh, too close, <laughs> it's too close, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> Then you're not singing a harmony that's pleasing <laughs> to the ears. So we're, we're gonna figure out how to find the right notes to sing to create beautiful harmonies. And to do that, I feel like we need just a quick little theory lesson, but I promise it'll be fun and exciting and also super duper helpful. So this note here uh, is C. So we're gonna take this note and we're gonna give it a number. One, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then six, and then seven. And this is actually the same note, this is C. So we're back to one. Now. If I sing the one, and Julia sings the three, three, uh, we have what's called Beautiful. a third. <laughs> one, two, three. Beautiful. Now, if I were to sing the one, Julia could sing the four. Uh, two, three, uh, that's lovely. Or she could sing the five. Uh, two, three, four, uh, a variety of notes that are gonna sound good to harmonize any given note. And that can be a little bit complicated and we're gonna save that for another day because I wanna give you a tried and true surefire way to find a harmony so that you can get started on this and make beautiful harmonies for yourself. So, we're gonna play a little game and we're gonna use the Beatles. The Beatles are here to help us because if you've ever heard Twist and Shout, you're gonna have some context for what we're talking about here. So in order to do this, we're gonna need a couple different notes, so, we're gonna bring one more voice in. Uh, uh, okay, so thanks to the Beatles, many of us will have a reference point for that twist and shout song and that really fun ah. Uh, uh, we need our other voices back. <laughs> um, so we have a reference point for that. And if you can call that to mind based on any melody note that you're trying to sing, you're going to have those intervals, those notes that you need to create a harmony. And we're gonna keep it really, really simple for now. And we're just gonna work on that first harmony, which is called a third. So if I'm singing ah, uh, uh, that's, that's good. It's gonna sound beautiful. <laughs> so let's, let's actually apply this to some exercise. So we're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna sing a note and then I'm gonna wait and see if you can sing the third, and then Julia's gonna join in after a couple seconds, and then she'll sing that third. So you can try first on your own, but if you can't find it, if you're singing the same note as Julia, you've nailed it. Okay, so here's my first note. Uh, uh, okay, and then let's do this one. Let's look. Uh, Okay, and then this one. Uh, uh, yes. And if you're struggling with this, just go back to that that Beatles thing, and sort of like try to imagine that whole line in your head. Uh, uh, yeah. Right. That's gonna help you figure out where you need to be. So that was a fun little game. <laughs> so now that you've practiced finding that third, let's apply it to a song. So if I were to sing. And I'm free. I'm gonna listen for the third above that note. Free. <laughs> we got harmony. 
So the other tricky part is, how, what do you know, what, like, what do you do next? So I'm gonna move in parallel thirds. So we're actually gonna keep the interval the same, okay. moving along with the melody. So just to break it down, I'm singing, I'm free, free fallen. And the harmony is gonna be a, a third above, and I'm gonna sing, and I'm free, free fallen. Together, it would look like, and I'm free, Because when you look at it like this, as a sort of a first step toward learning harmonies, it's so simple. Yes, you have to train your ear, and it does take time. And yeah. I think it's important to recognize that you'll sing some bad notes on your journey to the good one. Which is fine. 100% <laughs> totally fine. Totally um, fine. But when you have it all together. And I'm free. that you can sing. And so what we've done is we've got a practice track for you of the chorus where you can hear this song and you'll hear me singing the melody and then you can sing along as the harmony. So practice along. We're gonna take another moment right here just to do this harmony really slowly so you can repeat this little section to practice it. We're gonna go really slow. I'm gonna give you just Julia first. And I'm free, free falling. Now here it is with the melody. And I'm free, free falling. One more time. And I'm free, free falling. So there you go. That is what you can practice. Okay, so a couple final things before we send you off to practice. Okay, so if you're, uh, if you have a male voice or lower voice and you're like, this harmony is way too high for me, I can't reach it, just sing it the octave below. So it would be here for you. And I'm free, free falling. Same note, just the octave below. Absolutely. And then this song is so great because that parallel third harmony works all the way through the so chorus, um, but that doesn't work everywhere. So sometimes you may have to play with other intervals. Yes. And you may have to start exploring. That and third, a really, the fifth, yes, yes. other ones. So, a great way to start training your ear to start hearing those harmonies is just to listen to a lot of <sighs> harmony heavy music. Yes. So start listening to the Eagles or the Staves or just songs that have a lot of harmony in them. Pay attention and try to sing the harmony line. Yes, try to identify the harmony. Is it is it below the melody? Is it above the melody? And just try to sing along and see if you can. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. <laughs> it's totally fine. If you sing a note that doesn't fit, just Sing a different one. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a lot of trial and error. It really is. And yeah. it's a journey and it's not overnight. So this will get you started. This is a great first step towards singing in harmony. <laughs> <laughs> so have fun, happy practicing. And if you have any questions at all, we are here to help. So just comment below and we've got gotcha. you. All right, see you around. Bye. She's a good.